Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here today with a new product for our line of indoor cycling for our action cycling products. And uh, this today we've got, we're going to introduce a new mounting kit and rocker plate for the, the newly introduced Wahoo Kicker Move. <clears throat> so this new trainer came out in uh, late in the fall of 2023. And uh, the this is now their top top of the line, uh, even higher than the kicker itself. And the main difference with this new trainer is it has a feature that will allow you to unlock the chassis of it, and it lets the bike rock forward and backwards to kind of give you some more freedom of movement uh, that you might experience on the road. So if you making your body movements and your shifts as you stand the pedal and, and sit down from standing those kinds of movements even standing up to stretch and whatnot just makes the bike feel uh theoretically more uh natural it does have a lockout on it so you can lock it out um, this trainer is much larger uh footprint than previous uh wahoo kickers and uh is is probably the biggest footprint of most of most any of the top of the line smart trainers so this requires a, lo a longer front to rear deck, uh, which we actually already had. That was <laughs> a product we have for the Wahoo Kicker Snap, um, another uh, lower end trainer that they sell. So this requires that platform. I think our normal decks are 22 inches and these are 27. So five inches longer front to rear. Um, so our kit will consist of uh, four mounting uh, spacers and the appropriate hardware. We'll also sell a template for people who are DIYers who want to make, a, make their own deck out of a wooden board. And we sell our modular rib kit and um, mounting kits, mounting templates, and then also our counterweight kit, which makes for the absolute cleanest looking, most uh, uh, commercial and professional looking trainer you can get. It's also the dead simplest. There's nothing to break or adjust or tune or pop or fail. You can park your pickup truck on it. So, but as far as getting back to the mounting kit, uh, there's lots of places you can look on my channel on YouTube to learn about the action rocker plate. But today we're just gonna kind of focus on this mounting kit. So if you wanna we'll take a walk around it here for me. What, uh, these are our proprietary mounting spacers. And this is our top of the line aluminum deck. Uh, and then this is our counterweight kit that is its own standalone product. Um, if you like a clean looking rig like this, instead of having, you know, gym weights or something piled on the side or sandbags, uh, you know, they all work, but it's just, you know, some people ride an S-Works bike and some people have different bike, you know, so it's whatever, Whatever your level of finance and uh, and how you want your rig to look in your in your pain cave, so uh, the the counterweight kit again another product, but it comes with twelve pounds of weight and one two and three pound increments times two and allows you to tune counterbalance your rig to precisely match your riding style and body uh, ab you know individualities you know such as a odd pelvis or an odd shoulder or something that makes you sit a little odd or a little kink in your spine. So you always have to counterbalance a rig. Uh, the advantage to getting one of our mounting templates, even if you're not going to buy our mounting kit or anything, the mounting template uh, places the, tra the trainer correctly, uh, not the trainer in the center of the rocker plate, which is absolutely wrong. It needs to place the bicycle perfectly in the center of the rocker plate. So a key difference, a lot of people miss out on, they'll just come and bolt that trainer into the center of a plate and it'll never balance properly and it'll always ride wrong. Uh, so uh, our mounting template uh, precisely positions it, no matter what you're doing underneath for your rocker, full length, short, whatever, it's critical to get it dead in the middle. This particular trainer is the absolute hardest to create a proper mounting template and mounting kit for of any trainer ever made 
And that's basically because of all of this mechanical motion in the, in the rocker. So Wahoo actually has some mechanical slop in it. They're actually creating a, a tiny, teeny weeny amount of actual rock. If you didn't have a rocker plate, and I guess they're claiming that's their, their option of rock. And then they also have some kind of spongy rubbery feet out on the end of the outriggers that um, are over here um, on this bench. So they've kind of got a little bit of their own rocking going on. Not the same as an actual real rocker, but, you know, they're doing something. They, they definitely made it better than being rigid on the floor. So, um, but, so this thing, you know, this 50-pound weight on one side, it automatically takes all the mechanical slop out of it, cocks the bike over. It's not perpendicular to the chassis of the, of the kicker move. So to properly find the true center of a bicycle on this took a lot of effort, and I'm not even going to tell you how I did it because that's my secret, <laughs> and that was my day's work. So uh, the, uh, as far as what's required to install it, uh, you'll simply, you'll only need a couple of tools. I've got a video called something to the effect of fine points of mounting the Wahoo kicker. That video will apply absolutely to the kicker move as well. But uh, you'll remove the two factory bolts that hold these outriggers on. They're an M6 and a 17 millimeter nut. You won't use those anymore, so you can bag them in case it's for you ever put the bike, the trainer back together. You'll remove the Wahoo feet, which requires no tool at all. And then um, you can, you'll slide the outrigger back in. I supply you with longer hardware, bolts, washers, and nylock nuts for back here. And then for here, there's a bolt, a lock washer, and a flat washer that come up through the floor. So as you'll notice, it's clean. You don't really see hardware. Um, that, that's kind of one of the beauties of the kit. Um, because of the complexity of the move in this undercarriage here, we normally took the wire and hid it under the trainer, the, the power cable, so you didn't have to see it. This one will exit down the rear. We do supply our rocker kits with a, a set of cable ties that are a little proprietary, not proprietary, but a really a neat little push tree that plug into these holes along the rail here. And then you can zip tie the cord so that it's not, you know, kicking around in the room or getting pinched by the rib rocking. So you'll just run those on the outside instead of the inside, but the, the effect is still actually the same. Um, and tighten it all down and you're ready to go. So only 17 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter wrench, and a uh, six millimeter Allen key is all that's required to take it apart and, and mount, do the mounting kit portion of this. So um, what does it look like? Let's see. So I don't have it plugged in, so it won't make any any resistance. Um, but you know, you can that. I think they've designed that. It's probably pretty obvious that you can operate it with your foot if you so desire. Um, I'm going to guess that for a lot of people, it'll be easier to um, mount and possibly even dismount um, with it locked. And then maybe once you're up on the bike and you know you're loosened up and. Uh, uh, warmed up or whatever you can you could just tap it loose and then it'll get that four and a half motion so you know you're not going to sit here and rock away like this but it's those natural body motions that you're making while you pedal that uh, you'll see it kind of just absorbs it a little bit so all those little things make for less saddle pain and a little more comfort over time you know as you as you ride so You'll see it kind of move, and you see the rocker, right? Um, and then you sit down. It's, it does move a lot when you if you go if you just naturally sit down from standing. It does kind of hop back a bit, but yeah, not here to evaluate that or comment on it. But uh, then you can throw that lock, and it's locked. Um, 
And just a side tip, something I found very helpful for indoor cycling is um, cobble gobbler seat posts from Specialized. You can find them. They have a lot of vertical give. That's another little thing that I love to have on my bikes. That definitely simulates kind of the pneumatic action of a tire and uh, uh, just the general flex of a bike, you know, that you might have that you don't get indoors when you're just stuck on a trainer. So anyway, that's our kit for the Wahoo Kicker Move. It'll be on the site uh, by Monday, the, I don't know what it is in January, somewhere around, uh, before the end of January, it'll be on the site and uh, we'll have uh, mounting kits, templates available at that time, hopefully. The mounting templates are $9.95 and this mounting kit will be $49.95. So uh, check it out at www.traction.com. My name's Max, and uh, help, uh, hopefully this helps you build a nice pain cave to uh, suffer through this winter until the, the sun comes out in the spring.